Hi there. Now, in this video, just going to be looking at part C of this question. Remember, in part B, we had to find the speed of A when it was 0.7 meters above the ground here. And we found out that it was 1.4 meters per second. And now we're told that this particle C of mass 2m comes away from the particle B. So if I just remove that, we've now got to find the acceleration of A at the instant then that C separates from B. So if you'd like to have a go at this, have done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So the particle C has fallen off of B and now we've got new forces acting on both particles A and B. We've got the weight of A that acts downwards. Its mass is 3m so its weight is going to be 3mg newtons. And on B the weight is now 2mg newtons. There'll be new tensions in the two strings, so let's just mark those tensions in. That's T newtons there and T newtons there. Remember, they're both the same because the pulley is smooth. Now, when it comes to marking on the accelerations, we see that because the weight of A is greater than the weight of B, then this is going to want to accelerate downwards. So we're marking that acceleration, we'll call it A, acting downwards. And that means that this one will be accelerating upwards with exactly the same acceleration because the strings are inextensible. So we just need to form our equations of motion for each particle. So if we start by considering particle A, then we resolve downwards, taking that as the positive sense in the direction of acceleration. Then what I've got is 3mg acting downwards minus the tension acting upwards. That's our overall force on A equals the mass, which is 3m times the acceleration A. And we need to call this equation 1, okay? We're going to be doing simultaneous equations here, so I now go and consider particle B. So just put here, consider B. And doing that, resolve in the direction of acceleration, which is upwards. So we resolve upwards. Applying force equals mass times acceleration, we've got T upwards minus the weight downwards, so that's 2mg. That's our overall force equals the mass, which is 2m, times the acceleration, which is a. And this is our second equation. So all we need to do is to add our two equations together, because that's going to eliminate the tension t. So if we just put a note here that equation 1 plus equation 2. What does it give us? Well, we've got 3mg minus 2mg, that's going to be mg, and that's going to equal 3ma plus 2ma, which is 5ma. The m's cancel, and that means that the acceleration, if I divide both sides by 5, the acceleration a is going to be g divided by 5, and that will be measured in meters per second per second. Okay?